as I make these tip and tutorial guides and videos I get asked a lot of questions that generally pertain to an error or some type of issue that some people come across whenever they try to do that with their phone if I know the answer I will instantly reply assuming that I have time and a lot of the times and I mean a lot of the times I'll go to Google and search up some resolutions to help people fix the issues as they come across them sometimes I just don't know the answer and I'm not gonna reply with I don't know as hopefully this will open up the time for other people other viewers and readers to come in and help out the community so recently I was asked about how to resolve an issue when side loading an over the air update zip file via ADB this is something that comes up a lot and today I wanted to talk about a few troubleshooting steps for this and particularly I wanted to talk about this because I came across this yesterday and had to spend a lot of time to figure out what my issue was as there can be a number of reasons why this error pops up now the error some people are seeing is whenever they type the ADB space sideload space OTA update dot zip into the command prompt we're getting an error message that pops up that says cannot read OTA update dot zip now again this can be up from a number of different issues the first thing is to make sure you have moved or copied the update zip file into the same folder that you have ADB and fastboot installed to the next step to troubleshoot this is to make sure that you're typing the OTA update zip or whatever the file name for that zip file is exactly as it is in the folder whether there's upper cases or lower cases make sure it's all done exactly the same now I did this just those two steps and I was still getting this issue whenever I tried to sideload the 7.1.1 update on the Nexus 6P so after going through some XDA articles and forum threads I happen to come across a suggestion in the middle of a thread that talked about reinstalling your driver for the phone now I do a lot of different tutorials off a lot of different phones and I haven't had an issue with a driver so I kind of passed this tip off because it just didn't seem likely with my situation however after about an hour of trying to figure out what the issue was I decided to go ahead and do this so I went to Google and I downloaded the USB drivers and then what you're going to want to do is open up device manager you can either do this by searching the start menu on Windows 10 or you'll have to go through the control panel it just depends on which version of Windows you're using now what fixed the issue for me and this might not fix the issue for everybody but what fixed the issue for me was to put my phone into USB debugging mode as that popped up this specific Android device category now if I disable USB debugging you can see that Android device category is not there it still shows up in the portable devices or at least it did I tested this about five minutes ago and I saw pixel XL there either way go ahead and put your phone into USB debugging mode 
then you should see this Android device category. We're going to expand that and you, you should have a device there. You want to right click that and then click on properties and then click on the driver tab. At the bottom here you're going to have an uninstall button. Once you tap that, click that uninstall button, it's going to ask are you sure you want to uninstall the driver. You just click on OK and it will uninstall the current driver you have for that for a portable Android device. After the driver was uninstalled, it suggested that I reboot the computer. So I clicked OK to reboot the computer now. If you don't get that prompt, it's, it's still advised to reboot your PC. Again, this is just what I did to fix the issue I was having. Once the computer booted back up, I was going to manually install the USB drivers myself, but I didn't need to. The, as soon as I plugged, as soon as it booted back up and I plugged the phone back into the PC, it installed the drivers automatically. And once that happened, I went back to the command prompt and tried the ADB space sideload space OTA update dot zip command, and it instantly started to load that zip file instead of saying cannot read it instantly gave me a percentage meter and it started loading the update. So again this is what solved the issue for me. Fixing it for you might have to do with the file name, it might have to do with moving the file into the ADB and fastboot directory. Um, it might not. It might even be something else completely different from the driver or the file. I just wanted to make a video and a tutorial guide on what fixed the issue for me. So hopefully it will fix the issue for anybody else that's having it.